Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the Command 66 Day Challenge 2.0, Day 40. Today, we've got some new changes within the Contacts submenu, and I wanted to show you that today with regards to searching for people in your database. So we now have the ability, when we click on the Search drop-down box here underneath the Contacts submenu, traditionally it was just searching for everything. So when you started typing something in here, if you typed in Snoopy, it would look for all of your contacts that had a first name, last name, email, or address anywhere associated with Snoopy. And now we don't have to do that any longer. So, um, for example, if you know my name is Marty, but you can't remember my last name, you wanted to send me an email, you could search just first name for Marty, and everyone in your database that had a first name named Marty would show up. Now, I know there's another labs advisor friend of mine named Marty Richter, and so if Marty Richter was in my database, it would show Marty Miller and Marty Richter. Now, if I wanted to search my database to see if there's anyone else with the last name of Miller in my database, I could do that. And sure enough, here's Denise Barcelona Miller, another agent in our market center that has the same last name. I have myself in as Martin Miller and Marty Miller, so you can see all the contacts that have Miller in here as well. You can also search for emails. So sometimes we get those random emails from somebody. And I'm like, I'm not really sure who this contact is. So you could come in and search for, now obviously it wouldn't be marty.miller because you know who that was. And yet, just as a way to kind of show it, if I search for this email address, it pulls up my contact. So if you got an email from snoopy123 at aol.com, you could look that up and realize, oh, that's actually connected to Marty Miller or whatever. That's not my email address, just so you know. Just an example. So click, you can also do address. So you could search for somebody's address. Hey, I want to know everyone that lives on Lodge Meadows. And then if you had several contacts in your database from possibly doing um, door knocking or from an open house or from some sort of neighborhood event, um, and you wanted to pull all of the contacts from that actual address, you could do that as well. I am pretty sure that I can look for anyone under address that's from Katy, Texas. And yep, that worked too. So address, if it has Katy in it, these are all of the people in my ad, in my um, contact database who have an address that involves the city of Katy. So you can see that as well. If I just wanted to see how many people do I know that actually live in Katy, I could do the same address. Let's do Houston. And these are all the people in my database that have an address that has Houston in it as well. So some improved search functions within the contact submenu of KW Command, the ability to search by first name, last name, email, or address. Guys, that's it for today, day 40 of the Command 66 Day Challenge. I cannot wait. Mega Camp is literally three sleeps away, as we say in my family. How many sleeps? Three more sleeps, and it's going to be an amazing week. So excited about everything that the labs team and KWRI and KW in general are going to be doing for us over the next week. So uh, if you're headed up there, I hope to meet you. And if not, I will look forward to speaking with you in the morning. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.